This Filipino food was incredibly tasty and it only cost me 27 cents. Today, I'm exploring the streets of Chinatown, Manila, but there's one thing, I only have $10 on me. Let's see what food we can find. We kick off our culinary adventure with lumpia, the Filipino twist on the classic spring roll. Originating from Chinese traditions, this delicacy features a crunchy and crispy texture stuffed with finely diced onions, carrots and cabbage. like an old pork bun. Pork time. Mm. Our taste buds were craving a switch, so we tried another beloved local favorite, Halo Halo. This unique dessert combines shaved ice, jelly, assorted beans, and ice cream, all sweetened with condensed milk. Mm. What's it up? This is a uh, pinny pig at the right. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, like jackfruit. Yes. It turns like uh, purple, you know? Hello. Mm. Hello, Hello. Hello, Kapatid. Come on, Stokka. Yeah. Okay, Lang. Salamat Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our journey continues through the market, and an odd sight caught my eye. Freshly caught and still alive. It's as if the seller wants to communicate that these were caught earlier in the morning. Such scenes like this are new to me. As we ventured deeper into the market, the next dish presented itself. One that I was reluctant to try. Keen to keep an open mind, I sampled deep fried quail eggs. Each egg, encased in a crunchy batter, is fried to a golden crisp and served on skewers with an array of sauces. We had sweet sauce and it offered a contrast to the soft warm inside. I can't believe it, that was the third dish that we've tried so far. I'll be experiencing a bit of a culture shock for the next one. We travel on an old 1930s jeepney through the chaotic Manila streets and then a tricycle where we head into an alley. We stumbled on something unexpected, a fully functional restaurant right in the middle of a footpath. It resembled a buffet with a spread of various dishes laid out. It's mine. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. I'll take you my bag. Salama po. We dove into our first choice, Bicol Express. Pork and champagne. Yes. Okay. And this, and this? It's like in a soup. A dish that is celebrated for its creamy coconut base and fiery spice. Named after the train service that runs through the chili loving Bicol region. This rendition featured pork simmered with coconut milk, shrimp paste, garlic, onions, and of course chilies. It's accompanied with rice to temper the heat, creating a perfectly balanced bite. Following the Bicol Express, we turned our attention to the little humble dish, mongo. Primarily crafted from mung beans, this soup serves as a staple comfort food. Have we tried mongo before? Not I don't think so, no. No. <laughs> okay, what's that? Same, same. Candereta and paka. Beef, beef, beef. Oh, okay. Candereta. Okay, okay. A lot of choices. This is curry, chicken curry. Chicken yeah. curry. What's this? Embutido. What? Embutido. Ground beef. Ground beef. Oh, okay. Ground beef. Continuing our culinary journey, we dive into Nilagang Baboy, a soup that embodies simplicity and comfort. This clear, flavorful broth gains its character from pork cuts, slow simmered, with a variety of vegetables. Typical additions include potatoes, corn on the cob, cabbage, green beans, and notably, plantain bananas which add a subtle sweetness to the dish. Thank you, Ate. Salamat. Salamat po. God bless. Masarap. Masarap. <laughs> After savoring the warmth of Nilagang Baboy, we decided to shift gears entirely to sample a fruit that I've never seen before in my life. Lanzonis, a tropical fruit loved across the Philippines. 
These small, round gems are unlike any fruit I've ever encountered. Beneath their skin lies translucent, moist flesh that bursts with sweetness. Blends on us, this fruit. Mm. Let me know what's been your favourite so far, or one that you're willing to try. As a token of appreciation, I gave one of my merchandise products to the fantastic tour guide, Atevi, for showing us the authentic flavours of the Philippines. You can get yours too in the link below. I've been patiently waiting for the most exciting part, dessert. Puto Bombong is a unique treat that captures attention with its striking purple colour and unique preparation. A naturally purple sticky rice, this dish is steamed in tubes. Once cooked, it's pushed onto banana leaves and sprinkled with sugar, creating a delightful contrast in flavours and textures. So this one is like Moscow butter, like a brown sugar, and they have a coconut shape. Mm. Try it. Hot, hey, hot. Huh? Okay, hot? <laughs> yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Try the one slice. And then uh, mix with the brown sugar. That will be good. That's nice. Oh my god. I remember when I was young. <laughs> we love Puto Bong Bong. Oh. We're looking for one that you know, usually in Christmas, but the good thing you have it now. In, Philippines is extremely cheap and our total cost came to this. So good. Pass it up. 